Good morning at sunrise. It's a while since we were on this pathway. So we're back again. Twenty more days to Christmas Eve and look at the fresh grass I just noticed because of the rains that fell here a couple of weeks ago it's already grown a couple of inches this grass but in general I think we've received less rain than normal <clears throat> so we hope for bountiful rains that in the winter. Here we are at the beautiful Sea of Galilee. Oh, now we got video again. It gave me a black screen here and it said audio was disrupted. So maybe it's because of the mountain here blocking the the signal, but Tiberius is straight ahead of us. You can even see high rise there. So I have no idea if this company is not delivering or what's going on. But we'll stay here now. Or maybe we'll just go down and try what happens if it's the signal that cuts out there, which is very strange. We'll just go back and try again. Ever since I got this new eSIM card, the company who provides it hasn't been able to clarify what's going on. But let's see. Obviously different companies have different ranges in their capacity. So let's go to the core of the message today, which is beautiful. It's how God has provides for us, for all of humanity, all peoples. It's in a marvelous text. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts, I'm not referring to Mount Arbel here in the Southern Cliffs, but it's the Mount, Mount Zion in Jerusalem will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines. Juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. What an extraordinary promise. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. This amazing text of consolation. We're in chapter 25 of Isaiah. And this is an Advent reading. So the Advent readings are not reading systematically. In fact, we've had three different Isaiah texts and not even in order, and that's fine. But it's picking out themes and the readings are thematically arranged. And they're delineating what the promise is in salvation. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. What a beautiful text. the tears that come from guilt, from sin. 
the source of death. be removed the longing of people for reconciliation hello 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 shalom tov. that was a, an interesting face that dog had with the color composition And then we have Psalm 23, that incredible psalm of consolation. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. That's from verse 6. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Again, it seems to have that same theme. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In virgin pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he refreshes my soul. Fresh waters, the teaching, the word of his mouth. So many ideologies exhaust us. And God's word consoles us. On this holy mountain and every mountain, with every mount. Oh, you're back. I imagine we may have lost. Some. Yeah, we lost a lot of people just now, even as well. So they hadn't clicked in already. Oh, a lot of people are coming back again. So again, we had another disruption there. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes, my own internal foes of pride and spirit of conflict with others. An amazing path to overcoming the foes is the path of humility, the path of trust in God who can provide everything because we can't. And that's what we see in the gospel today with the miracle. The disciples have nothing to give the people who are hungry. And Jesus pushes them to recognize this. Give them yourselves. Yeah, we just have a few loaves and a couple of fish but he will feed all his people on the mountain. He will heal the sick and bind up their wounds. The reconciliation we experience, the gift of goodness. Even when we have abundance to give, in a certain sense, it's not ours. It's given to us by God for that purpose. The entrusting of talent. The entrusting of talent to us. That's for service of others. To notice the needs. How can we help? What do we have? somebody may be crying out for help and we have the solution in our hands. Such a variety in nature of materials, of life, of plants, of minerals, of resources, of energy.
to share the little we have, which is a lot for others. The way we live today in the Western world, Roman emperors would have dreamed of it. The possibility of travel, the level of nourishment, the abundant space in homes, the development of roads over valleys and tunnels through mountains and speed trains and airplanes and the transformation of materials, the production of materials. An extraordinary abundance. There's really no need for anybody to be hungry. And all that's given to us. Okay, we work, we get a salary, we do our thing. But it's all gift. We're living in a reality of gift. And that's the big, the big essence of Christmas. Celebrating pure gift of pure self-giving. Although he was like God, he emptied himself and became like us, among us. And this is the whole process of all the scriptures. This is the insight Isaiah communicates, this marvelous prophecy of plenitude, plenitude of love. I don't have it in me to reconcile. I don't have it in me to forgive this person. There is a plenitude, there is a source. It's pointing, it's waiting to be drawn. We just have to look up to hold it, to haul it in, to spread it out. A banquet of forgiveness, of love, of reconciliation, of service, of smiles. Imagine the ability to give a smile. And many times we withhold it. We can easily withhold a smile. We can withhold a kind face, a generous face. All the windows in Tiberias glistening in the sun. I think we leave it like this today. Sorry about the interruptions there earlier on. May you be blessed in this beautiful day. This new opportunity to share an abundance of goodwill and smiles and love. I want to show you something else here with an abundance. Oops. There we got some uh, 